Internet marketing business or internet marketing hobby? The choice is yours. Many great minds have said, attitude is important, or attitude is essential, or attitude is vital. When it comes to your internet marketing business, I'm here to tell you that the last statement is true. Your attitude will go a long way in determining your chance of success. IT has been said on many occasions that 95% of all internet businesses will fail. Is it any coincidence that 95% of internet marketers treat their business like a hobby? What about you? Let's take a look. Here are some of the ways you act to treat your business like a hobby. You have no firm goals. You have no set work schedule. You have no investment in your business. You don't really expect to succeed. One of the big advantages of your home-based internet business is the ability to freely adjust and regulate your work schedule. But you do need a schedule. It can be set of in one of two ways. By selecting the number of hours per day you will work in the days of the week that you will work, or by setting a goal or goals on a daily or weekly basis. For instance, I will write and submit 10 articles today. Or, I will build a new niche site this week, etc. You need to write your goals out and review them daily. Another way of doing it is to plan a project, list the steps required to achieve that project, and make each step a separate goal. This method can also be used to set up your time schedule. That leads us to another problem area, which you must address, namely setting up a work schedule. One of the big advantages to your internet marketing business is being able to work when you want to. It's okay to modify your schedule to fit your life, but you must set up some guidelines. Initially, keep track of your time and see how you're using it, you're bound to learn something. Set up a schedule and stick to it. The investment required setting up a brick and mortar business usually costs many thousands of dollars, not just a few hundred dollars, typical of internet businesses. The more money you have at risk, the more likely you are to treat it seriously and work diligently towards your own success. This simple fact has shaped the attitudes of many fledgling internet marketers and led them down the path to failure. Treat your business like it costs tons of money to establish, and you'll do much better, because you'll work harder toward achieving your goals. I've heard internet marketers say, I'll give it a try. This is really not the correct mindset for success. Expecting to fail is usually a self-fulfilling prophecy. Another statement often heard is, let's see how this thing goes. No good. You got to be omitted, don't ever forget the difference between success and failure is in your mind. You are in control and will determine your own destiny. You need to constantly ask yourself, what is my next step to success? Then do I T.S.O. What will it be? Business or hobby? Success or failure? It's up to you. Good luck.